Okay, so basically um, at IB and at A-level, you need to know certain angles, um, exact trig ratios. And those angles are working in degrees, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. And in radians, uh, we should be aware that those are 0, um, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and pi over 2. All right, and we need to be able to convert between those. Now, the zeros and the 90 degrees, or the pi over twos, we can get from our knowledge of the trig graphs. Okay, so the sine graph looks like this, the cos graph looks like this. The difference is they, you know, they've actually got the same shape, same period, same amplitude, but basically sine x starts at zero, starts at zero, zero, cos x starts at zero, one. Okay, so uh, for sine, when the angle is zero, sine is zero, whereas when the angle is 90, um, that's at the maximum point here, and sine 90 is one. For cosine, it's the other way around. For tangent, um, this is the tangent graph. Um, so when, tan, when the angle is zero, tangent is zero. So we can fill that in straight away. But what's happening here, is that uh, as the angle is approaching 90 degrees, the tangent of 90 is basically undefined. Yeah, so you've got an asymptote. As the angle approaches 90, the the, the tangent ratio approaches infinity. A quick explanation of why that is. Let's say I start with 45 degree or an isosceles right angle triangle. If that's 10, then that must be 10. Right, so tan of tan is the opposite over the adjacent. Tan of 45 is 10 over 10 is 1. Well, what about if I make that angle there 80 degrees? Okay, well, if that angle there is 80 degrees, um, you can see straight away that this side here must be uh, much bigger than 10. It's actually, it would actually be about 57. Okay, and if you put into your calculator, tan of 80 degrees, you'll get, um, you'll get 5.67, okay, to three, de to two decimal places. Now, tan of 89 degrees uh, actually comes to 57.3, and tan of 89.9, interestingly, comes to 572.957, da, da, da. so that would round to 573 to three significant figures. And um, actually, oops, uh, tan of 89.99 is uh, 5,700. And 30 to three significant figures. So there's something happening there. But the key point is that as you get closer and closer to 90 degrees, you can see that the tan ratio is approaching infinity. Okay? So tan of 90, uh, we just say is undefined. Now, uh, what about the 30 degrees, the 45 degrees, and the 60 degrees? So we can get all of those by drawing some two special triangles. Now, I recommend that you learn this the, the, um, from this table. Um, however, uh, if you are, if worst comes to the worst and you're in an exam and you can't remember what they are, it's worth also just knowing these triangles, how to start these triangles, because you can get these trig ratios very easily from these triangles. So your first triangle, um, some people explain it with uh, a side length of one, and it will work with a side length of, two, of one. However, I prefer to use a side length of two. And then um, the key thing is that if we split this angle down the middle, okay, so this is a, supposed to be an equilateral triangle, hence so every side is two. So if we split this down the middle, we know that um, the length just from here to here is a side length of one. 
the key thing is that this is 60 degrees or in radians pi over 3 and that this angle here is 30 degrees or in radians pi over 6. Now from here we can get really easily sine of 30, sine of 60, cos of 30, cos of 60, tan of 30 and tan of 60 because sine of 30 is the opposite over the hypotenuse so sine of 30 is a half sine of 60 is the opposite over the hypotenuse oh we need to know what this length is here so with oops with a bit of very simple Pythagoras you know that this length here let's just call it X for now the X is the square root of um, 2 squared minus 1 squared which is the square root of 3 okay so I'm just going to replace that X with root 3 so sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 yeah opposite over hypotenuse cos of 60 sorry cos of 30 turns out also to be root 3 over 2 cos of 30 is the same as sine of 60 cos of 60 is the same as sine of 30 cos of 60 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and then tan of 30 is um, the opposite over the adjacent so that's 1 over root 3 and tan of 60 is the opposite over the adjacent so that's root 3 over 1 or just root 3 so we can start filling in these in now yeah sine of 30 is a half cos of 30 is root 3 over 2 tan of 30 is 1 over root 3 which can also be expressed as root 3 over 3 uh, with a bit of simplification of thirds um, and then we can also do this column so um, sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 cos of 60 is a half and um, tan of 60 is root 3 so notice also you've got a bit of symmetry in this table um, you've got root 3 over 2 for both uh, cos of 30 and sine of 60 and you've got a half for both sine of 30 and um, cos of 60 and then the tans are both to do with root 3. Now uh, the process for getting the 45 degrees is very similar um, basically this time we're going to start with a side length of 1 and again by basic Pythagoras this comes out to be root 2 so straight away you've got what you need to get um, sine cos and tan of 45 degrees so sine of 45 degrees is um, opposite over hypotenuse 1 over root 2 uh, often written root 2 over 2 if we uh, if we rationalize the denominator cos of 45 is exactly the same thing and tan of 45 as we discussed a bit earlier is just going to be 1 over 1. Now those need to be either committed to memory or you need to be able to quickly sketch in an exam these two triangles. You need to be able to sketch this triangle here and you need to be able to score you need to be able to sketch this triangle here 1 1 45 degrees root 2 if you can sketch those two triangles in an exam then you can get all the rest of these ratios quite quickly